this video um, it's for a, a question that was posted a while ago um, it was can you write a, an algorithm that would find all the duplicates in a in an array and I thought oh, yeah that's what's forward you can knock that out in five minutes um, but actually this was quite a, a challenging program and um, maybe it's just because of my interpretation of it the question you've got to ask yourself is what's a duplicate so if I have an array and it's got five zeros in it how many are duplicates is that one duplicate because they're all zero is that uh, five duplicates because it's five of them or, or is it even um, one two I've got six there so six of them or is it even there's one zero and there are five of the duplicates and then you go well okay so what if I had one one zero zero two two is that three duplicates should be so deciding on what a duplicate is is quite complicated so what I decided in the end I would do would be if you've got that there's one duplicate if you've got that there's one duplicate that's two duplicates and so on so the way I've approached this um, is I've got some initial variables set up here um, I need a point to keep track of, of things um, I've got my arrays and I've gone for 20 elements in the array uh, but the array of the duplicates is the same size just for simplicity um, some counters some flags and so on so the, this bit here this just populates the um, the first array so if I put a breakpoint there and run it and I show you the oh where is it it's a variable watch window you can see look it's just populated the array with 20 items and created a blank array ready with 20 items so as I step through the program the next thing it does is it takes the first element in that array so if I come back here so the first element will be number two and it looks down all of the elements in the array bang 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 bang, bang and sees if there's another two in there if there is another two if the number exists again it will decide I've got a duplicate if it's the first time a duplicate has been found it just writes it to the array if it's multiple times so let's say for example we've um, we've got down here and we're looking this number we've already got a two in there because it was a duplicate from before um, so there the duplicate was there it will go down and if it finds a if it finds a two again it doesn't put it in the array so we only want to put a duplicate in the duplicate array if it's a unique duplicate if that makes sense so that's where I increase the pointer for the duplicate first time round if you find it multiple times this is the little bit that checks have I found the have I found the item already blank 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 if it's already been found set the flag to true so that when it comes around here it doesn't write it if um, if the flag's still false it can't have been in the array previously so when it comes down here not previously found writes it to the array so that's the basics of it and then at the bottom I've just got a little for loop that outputs the data so let's scroll through so there's where we create the array there's the outer loop to get the, the number to check over there. Um, this is the um, so this is the populate the array this is the one that gets the number to check yeah, there we go, to check. this is the one then that goes through compares each item in turn and then there's the, the comparison duplicate found bang it in if it's a multiple duplicates check if it's there before stick it in if it's not so let's run this through so we see what we get so if I run it through you can see there's oh that's run to the break hasn't it so let's just stop that and then we'll carry on the run there's the original array 
and the duplicate values in there are 5, 1, 7, 2, 3 and 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 duplicate values. And if I look at the output, where is the output window? Console window, there we go. You can see, look, it's found the duplicates. There were six duplicates and they were the values that were duplicated. So for what seemed like it was going to be a fairly straightforward program, I took into a couple of hours of, uh, of messing about with nested loops and double arrays to get this program working. So I hope you find this program useful. I hope that you um, are able to use it and make sense of it. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe. Or buy me a coffee. There we go. Just scroll up and down so you can see each part.